My journey to New England, it started with my medical school in Guntur Medical College in Andhra Pradesh in India. Soon after medical school graduation, I went and did uh, work as a clinician, particularly in the emergency room uh, in the northeastern frontier city of Manipur, which is close to Nagaland, and that was my first clinical experience as a physician. I got an opportunity to work in Ireland where I did my postgraduate work in internal medicine, and I was able to obtain two diplomas in the member and became the member of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland, and later on member of Royal Colleges of uh, UK. And I trained in uh, neurology at Boston City Hospital in the neurological unit there, which is uh, where the foundations of American neurology have taken place. And since then, I have remained in Boston uh, and has become my home all, almost 40 years now. I have uh, had many mentors, but probably the one, the most outstanding one, which really made a huge difference in my life, in my professional path, my professional success, uh, was uh, my chief of neurology at Boston City Hospital Neurological Unit, Dr. Thomas Sabin. My teachers and my professors in Guntur Medical College in Guntur, Nanda Pradesh, I think a lot of the mentors are my inspiration in, in many ways. The secret of my success is basically very simple. Uh, love of what you're doing, which in my case is uh, understanding various aspects of medicine and particularly neurology, applying that knowledge and experience to the care of patients and in the service of patients. Well, we all have to remember that uh, no man is an island, no woman is an island, no child is an island. So even though we are engrossed in our own professional work, in whatever ways, education, arts, science, medicine, we have to remember that we are made by our society. We are made by the people who, are, who work with us, who brought us up. But everybody should think about it and do is how can we contribute to the society at large. Outside of your own immediate family, immediate family circle, we should think about how you can serve in whatever ways you can to the community at large. And living in the United States particularly, uh, we should also think about extending the service and support beyond our own Indian American community to the local uh, population as well because they are in dire need in many, many ways. So extend your arms and your heart to the larger community. I think that's a very important thing and I hope uh, that's a message that will resound with you.